Hello and welcome everybody. It's me, Deasy Maven, and this is going to be your episode 2 of QCraft. Now what we're going to be doing today is going to be doing a little bit of building and a little bit of covering some things I've been doing on the server in the past few days. We got the first person here. Do a quick check, see who's on. Wounded, wounded is on. I just saw him. He's right there. I see him. He's uh, in his little cave right there. So this is where I'm set up right now. I've done a little bit of work around here. I've uh, put glass on top of the little pond here. I've kind of squared it off a little bit. I put a temporary potato farm down in there for um, uh, food because I didn't want to keep eating zombie flesh. I know there's lots of chicken, uh, grilled chicken and fried chicken back over in spawn, and people have offered me that. But um, I'd rather have a food source that's actually cl a little bit closer closer to me rather than running back over to spawn spawn all the time to uh, get food here. So let me show you real quick what I've got down here. My little trap door here. This is actually really useful because in this area there seems to be a lot of zombies. And the zombies like to uh, drop in this little hole right here and get stuck so I can just hit their uh, BTs here. And I can kind of do that like all night, all night long and get like some, um, get about 10 levels out of just whacking their feet here during the night time. So it uh, works out pretty well. But, um, but, uh, but, 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 ah, sorry. But, uh, this little thing is going to be a uh, temporary anyway. So, I mean, that's uh, not going to be there for a long time anyway. This is what I've got so far of my collected inventory here. I do have a set of diamond armor I made from the diamonds that I collected with, um, Mr. Two Feet's uh, help with his uh, fortune pick. I still got two left over. I might make a sword out of that later on. Um, I'm kind of waiting until I get to level 30 on my levels. So it's, I'm almost there. Two more levels to go. Once I get there, I might enchant a piece of armor and see what I get here. These are my temporary stoves that I'm using to cook uh, potatoes with. Actually, I might keep those on me. Keep those in there. That one's empty. It's a little underwater underwater pond right now. Glass ceiling. It's pretty nice and cozy. And this is my little chick chicken farm I've got going. This is all from the um, pair of chickens I found over here in the pond when I started here. I kind of lured them out. I put them over here and started um, feeding them and taking the eggs and just tossing them in here just to kind of max out the spawning of the chickens here. I kind of farm them up every now and then for um, feathers and a little bit extra chicken. Down here is where all my uh, branch mining is being done. There's, there's not much to see down there right now. And this is where my bed is right now, so I kind of stuck it right here. A little a little bit deeper down because if I put it up here, it kind of, with some of the monsters, it, I can't really sleep. So, it's going to be nighttime here soon, but this here is my materials chest here. So I've been kind of collecting the things that I'm going to be needing for my, for my uh, build here. I think I just about have everything I need. I'm still not certain about the oakwood logs. I'm going to see how this looks here. I might decide to go with spruce wood logs, but I'm going to try it out with oakwood here. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with the birchwood planks for my um, for most of the wood in my structure here. Uh, I'm not, I know I'm not necessarily going to need all of this stone. I just need some for uh, cobblestone walls. I'm going to pull some of that out right now. And the glowstone I do need. I just spent um, about a past hour collecting glowstone out of the uh, nether. I want to make sure I had like a full stack at least. And I do need sand and the birch. I collected all these birch leaves because I want to do, do a little bit of a... I want to make a little bit of a hedge with these. Let me take these. I made all these furnaces earlier when I built the bridge. And I, I'm going to insert the uh, clips of where um, I showed off the bridge that I made and some of the other things that have happened in the past uh, few days. 
Let's see, what else do I need on me? Well, I'm going to obviously need that. And... Oh, I do need a bunch of sticks, too. Because I need fencing. I might do that with this here. Because I already got a lot, of, a lot of birch wood here. Let me do that real quick. Try. Sticks. Sticks, sticks. Give me all the sticks. Six, six, six. That's good. I can go ahead and start with that. 32. Um, I might want to keep... I think that will be good enough to start with. Oh, I do want to start with this first here, because this is... My furnace and crafting table are going to be at the center of the build first. It's going to be kind of right above, and it's nighttime. Let me see what it's like out here first. Mm. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and wait until it's daytime, because I don't want to have to deal with any interruptions. So I will get, I will come back, I will cut back when it is daytime. Here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, just doing a little quick recording here. Uh, Mr. Two Feet here has lent me his Fortune 3 pick to mine, <clears throat> sorry, to mine this uh, diamond I found, found, <clears throat> sorry, pardon my, um, a little, Itch in my throat here. Uh, this is the first diamond I found. Actually, the first diamond I found was over here. So I'm going to mine this first. The pick he gave me has Fortune 3 on it. So hopefully I should get quite a bit out of this here. So let's see what I get here. Oh, he's going to be back in just a moment here. And I will give him his pick back when he returns. Wow, I got a bunch out of that. 14. That is a good haul. So let's see what I get out of here. Uh, this bunch here. All right, what do we get? 29. Wow. That is an excellent haul. Haul there. I'll be sure to return his pick as soon as he returns here. All right, and I will see you again in a bit here. Bye-bye. All right, and I'm back. It looks like it's about daytime now. The zombies are burning up. Get out of here. All right. Now, in preparation, I tried to mark out a bit of a square here. Uh, roughly kind of how big, I think. This build may end up being it's about a 20 by 20 block square here. I don't know if it's actually going to be this big, but I marked out the area just kind of in case it's this big. Now what I need is the, to mark the, find the middle of this here, because I'm going to start right around the bear. That's 20. It's 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10. This is 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Let's see, does that look like the middle? Or middle ish? Probably middle ish. Probably doesn't have to be exact. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna lean a little closer this way here. Right here. This is where we begin. Let me get the box on the bar that I need. I start off. Gonna want the cobble, the glue sting, the hitch bush. 
in fencing. Oh, I might want the stairs. Stairs, I might want stairs. Here are my stairs. I dug this out a little bit. There. I'm going to show you why in a moment. Oh, also before I start, future home of Temp Easy Maven, Koya. Some of you probably wondered what that is. That's the name of this build. The build is called Koya. Let's see. If I do this correctly, the crafting table is going to be right here. And I'm going to have a ring of stoves around this. Okay, so I see here. Let me get rid of the dirt. Because I want this accessible from underneath as well. Nope. Give me There we go. Let's see. This is probably going to act like a bit of a recessed area in the middle of my build. That's a little too high up. There's my axe. There's too many items on my bar. I feel like... I need my tools! I'm going to try and get as much done during the daytime. So I don't have to worry about it. spider. Spider. Oh no, that's not right. It's supposed to be facing the other way. Yeah, like that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Try again. Right. No! Puppies! Yes, I'm gonna edit that out. You're going to die in this place. Well, I got plenty of building material. No. Nope. Stairs, stop doing that. Now you're just being rude. Come on. Where's my dirt? I gotta fix this. Made more work for me, Creeper. Making more work for me. Come on, stairs. Stop doing that. No. 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 There we go. That's what I want. And we're going to do slabs. Now, I was told not to go too crazy here. So I don't really know what that means by not, not going too crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm kind of liking this already. Now we're going to go up two blocks. Nope, blocks, 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 box, box, box. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is going to cover up my door. Actually, I will leave that exposed for the time being. like that. Now, this needs to continue going up like one more level. I think.
Let's see here. I think it's gonna have like a ring of stairs around it. Let me collect some of my phone materials here. I might want to patch this hole up. Just in case I don't get finished by the night. There we go. This here. There we go. Cover it up. No big daylight left. I think this is gonna have to go. Yep, and that too. Signs go away. Now let's see. There needs to be space here for about, let's see here, one, two, three, one, two, three, it'll all make sense when I'm done, I promise. I'm going to put cobblestone around it, like here. There, and there, and there, and there. Cobblestone there, cobblestone there. That's not going to be called in there. That's not going to be called in there. Okay, that'll work out for the moment. Call us in there. Let's call us in there. Okay. I think. Should I use stairs? Hey, hey. I heard you coming. Okay, I'm going to cut away, I'm going to take a break, and then we'll come back again during the daytime, because I don't want to have creepers blow up on me while I'm working here, because I then have to start over again. Put a torch down here, because I don't want anything spawning. And over here, too. Okay. This is all accessible from down here now. Exactly. nicely. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. All right, Brink has offered to enchant my pick here. So let's see what I get here. Let me let him know I'm at spawn here. At spawn. So let's see what we get. Hopefully I do not get mobbed by anything. Is there somebody in here? No, it's just cows. The sheep is, um... Where are you going, sheep? Yep. There you are. There you go. Look, 
Look me with you. Look. Look me with you, I mean. <laughs> okay. What do we get? I'm breaking. Um. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it will last a long time. 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 Oh well. Thank you for the effort, Brink. <laughs> I will put it to good use, so... I will certainly find some more diamonds, and I will try to get another level for the enchantment. See if it combine with our pick. Yes, I, I might do that. Speaking of which, I'm thinking about... I wonder if I should build a bridge over this... Or this. I'm going to ask the guys here right now. Alright guys, I'm back. So I'm going to show you what I built here. I built it, this bridge across the creek here. So that I wouldn't have to keep jumping across this river this creek here so much anymore i was, I was getting kind of tired of having to find my way over the um hill here this uh creek this uh cliff side or this creek here so now i got a bridge so i can walk back walk over to the spawn area without having to jump up and around anymore and i i, I built it to match the pathway here so i wouldn't have to um wouldn't have to like ruin, wouldn't have to ru ruin the um, aesthetic here that that, that the um, two craft people are, are already have going here. So, so it worked out. Uh, Brink uh, helped me out with it a little bit. He uh, mostly uh, fought off uh, zombies for me, which was very helpful. So they wouldn't be uh, biting at biting at my backside while while I was doing this here. So, and I just want to let you guys see that. And I'm going to get on back, and now I have a lot of um, smooth stone, which I might use for something else in the future here. I don't know, maybe I'll extend the um, roadway out at some point. Extend it out and maybe have it wrap around and connect all the way over to where uh, Mad Marchman's place is. Have it wrap around Mr. Two Pete's place is over that way. Maybe you can extend the road out that way. Loop it around over to where Fumble's place is and back over to where Van Marsh's place is. So that this, the uh, portal is in the middle here. That, that, that might be an idea for the future, sure. But anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this little clip here. So, bye-bye. Okay, it is almost daytime. Let's head back out here. Let's see, what do I got now to work with? For planks. Let me get my fences ready. Snares and slabs I can make. I can hear the mobs dying. I uh, cleared out a little bit more under here. This is going to be the basement area. I haven't decided yet whether, whether this is going to be what the ceiling is going to look like, but for now I've been filling it in with uh, cobblestone. And I stuck a little bit of glowstone in. And uh, wounded, uh, wounded came by to uh, say hello here a little bit ago. He says he's a little bit bored. Uh, I'm not, not entirely certain what he, what he's up to. Maybe he's recording something, or maybe he's just building. But yeah, he's stopped by for a little bit. So let's see where we're at. Um, I'm checking, gonna check for creepers this time. Don't want any more blowing up.
There's a red sheep over there. Oh yeah, I was going to try and turn these stoves around a little bit here. And face... This way? Yeah, I like that. That's good. Okay, I like that. Okay, so... I'm thinking... Might go out one more birchwood block here. Here's Skelly walking around. Don't know where she's at. Blocks and blocks. Oops. I don't know if I need a block there or not. I don't want to go over the uh, glass here. Maybe this is getting a little too big here. Actually, you know what? I think that's probably going to be it. Because the next layer is going to have to be... Yeah, there's got to be sand in this spot around here. So let me dig all of this out here. Because here, let me go ahead and show you what is, what, what is going to go here. And I'm probably going to cut out the rest of this here. There's going to be that there. That there. It's going to be that right there. You can see a little bit of the glowstone right there. And then we're going to have planks extending out over. Planks extending out over. <laughs> like that. And then finally, my hedge bush is going to be where the shovel is. Like that. I don't know, can you really see the glowstone through that? It might provide some illumination. I'll see, I'll see how it works out here. Or I might stick it underneath the bush here. We'll see. Maybe I should put it underneath the bush, because that will provide a little better lighting, I think. Let me see how that looks. That there. That. It just looks a little too obvious when I do it do it like that. I don't know. I'm gonna stick with my original idea here. See how that works out. I mean I can always change it later on if I have to. My uh, fences are going to go on the edge here, like this, because there's going to be a little bit of a patio going around the edge here. But the walls are going to start right around in here. So that's why this is so wide here. You need to make a lot more fencing. A under construction sign here. <laughs> Just in case anybody's asking about what is going on here. Oh, yeah. Under construction. Under construction. Under construction.
Mm. Well, man, I'm actually getting tired. I have been up all day. Mm. I was up early this morning, working on some uh, write, some writing stuff for me, and made lunch, and I watched a movie, and I finally decided to come on and do a little bit of um, SMP today. So I wanted to do some recording. And I feel like I've been on here like forever now. Some more eggs, chicken. More eggs, more eggs. There we go. Plenty of chickens. Okay, how am I doing on materials? I'm getting low on my birch wood. Good on sand. Lots of cobblestone. Still got plenty of birch leaves. Alright, tell you what, I'm probably going to stop recording for a while, and I will maybe uh, pick this up when I've made uh, quite a bit more progress with this. So, I will uh, catch you later, or maybe, um, actually, you know what, i probably got enough here for one episode here. Well, yeah, one episode, so I think that's probably going to be it for now. So I guess by the time episode three comes around, hopefully the first floor will be done. And I will show that off. So I think that's going to be it for now. Enjoy my little sw swimming pool here. Eventually I will get rid of the potatoes. And this will look a little bit nicer down here, but that's what's going to be for now. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. And take care. Bye-bye. It's time, people. It is time. Before that, let me show you what I've got. I believe the first floor of the Koya is about done here. Here's the chandelier. Here's the bottom floor chamber here. Got my chest here. I, I'm debating if I should have some more chests here and organize it a little, bit, a little more in detail. I might... Uh, do that in the future here. But for right now, this will do here. Uh, the ceiling is about one, two, three, four, four and a half blocks high. Here's the staircase in the back. This goes up to the top floor area. There's nothing up top right now. I just kind of blocked it off with cobblestone. I'm going to work on that in another episode. I will show you that. This crosses through right here. And here's the back door area right here. It's the same as the front here. Here's the stairs down to the basement area. At least down to this area here. I've cleared out this chest here. I've moved some of my items up above here. And I'm going to keep organizing this um, miscellaneous stuff I have left over here. I'm still going to keep my bed down here because I'm planning on having my bed on the second floor of this. But... That'll be some other time. But for today, it's time for me to do my level 30 enchantment, and I have chosen to do it on pants. On my diamond pants. Because I have level 34. Let us see what we get. I'm going to do this, and that's going to be it for today. Because I have been on here a long time today. Hey, sheep. Okay. Level 30. We get last protection for. Well. This, that's not too bad. It will save me from Creeper Blast, I guess. Okay. Well, that was your level 30 enchantment video. Hope you enjoyed. How's that look? Let's go. 
let us uh, get a little closer here. I think it looks. I, I think it looks pretty good. And there's only more to come. There's a second floor I have to build. Build, and then there's going to be the roof. I'm still um, thinking about what to do for the roof of this, but I will start on the second floor in another episode, and just want to show you that. And I think that's going to be it. All right. Bye-bye.